really fought Mark is tooth and nail to get him to allow me to show this recipe to you. And thankfully for y'all, I won. So, if you like eggplant, you are going to love this video. If you don't, step along, leave us eggplant lovers alone here. That means you, Marcus. He doesn't like eggplant either. And I am so angry that he can't even try a bite of this recipe that I'm about to show you today. The reason I fought Marcus tooth and nail to do this recipe is because, well, one, it's half raw, half cooked. 99% of you said that you do enjoy the occasional cooked meal. So, for those of you that do, I'm gonna show you the most delicious recipe. It, 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 this tastes like I never had it, but well, I can imagine it tasting like beef stroganoff. I came up with this recipe a few months ago and everybody I have made it for just rolls their eyes and just can't believe the flavor sensation in their mouth. It's a super easy recipe. It calls for one eggplant, when you pick eggplant, you want to make sure it's soft. You don't want to get a hard eggplant. Um, just look for, feel, feel it, make sure it's soft. That's a good eggplant. So eggplant, I have a rosemary sprig here. Um, sage is optional. I do like it. It gives it a little earthy woodsy, but it definitely isn't necessary in the recipe. I would say rosemary is. Garlic, onion. Okay, that's that. And then we have for our sauce, Brazil nut and walnut. So let me get this um, eggplant going. Oh, and coconut. Um, I'm using coconut oil. So this is so weird. Cooking. <laughs> but anyways, making a cooking video. I promise this is my first and last cooking video. Okay, so. Um, well, the oil, the coconut oil is warming up. I put about a tablespoon of coconut oil in the pot. So while that's warming up, here we go. We're just going to slice this into um, cubes like this quarter size, nickel size. And um, I'm going to put it into coconut oil. So I put about a tablespoon of coconut oil in there, like I said before. Okay. So I have my wooden spoon here, and what we want to do is just stir it occasionally. And the, um, the flame is on medium. a little bit at a time as this cooks, as well as a little nama shoyu. Okay. A little bit more coconut oil. And now we're going to make the sauce. Okay, we'll leave that to fester. And we will start our sauce. Okay, about a half a cup of Brazil nuts. Half a cup of walnuts. A sprig of rosemary and a uh, clove of garlic and then a little bit of water to start it out with and blend. Okay, so, perfect consistent, oh, it's perfect. So now I'm gonna go to my eggplant. Okay, so this looks done. 
And it, it, I should have had onions in there too. I completely forgot, even though they're right in front of me. I apologize. But at this point, you turn off the stove, remove that from the heat, and then take your cheese sauce, and we're gonna pour it in there. Okay. Oh my God. Right here, heaven on earth. Immediately then put it in a mixing bowl. And since it's dead, because it's cooked, I thought I would put a very bright flower. Oh, that one's bad. Some bright, brighten it up with some pretty yellow flowers. So cilantro, border, so pretty. And then um, also, um, what's really good is a squeeze of fresh lemon. And there you have it, folks. Oh my God. It's so rich. It's so creamy. Mm -hmm. It'll put meat on your bones, but in a good way, meat. <sighs> this is amazing. Tell me how much you love it, okay? I really hope you enjoy it as much as I enjoyed sharing it with you. First and last cooked recipe video. I promise. <laughs> enjoy.